Kansas Farm Bureau is celebrating 100 years of advocacy, education, and service. Leaders like Doyle Rogers have forged a path for Kansas farmers and ranchers through their service to their communities, industries, and farm organization. In talking about, I think, what made Dad uh, such a, a great leader, and of course that's being biased of his time as being president of the Kansas Farm Bureau, was really how it got started, and started with a guy by the name of Frank Freeman, who was his FFA advisor, and he encouraged Dad to take up public speaking, thought he might be good at it, and so that's what he did. He went to his first uh, uh, contest, and I believe was hooked, and he talked about the importance of agriculture. Of course, Doyle's my husband. When he was president, what he would contribute to the counties was leadership and working together. I don't know how many dozens of times when we talked about his role of being off the farm and leading Farm Bureau is how it was everything was always about the members. He was with the County Farm Bureau first and then he was involved with the Resolutions Committee. That's how it started. With the farming, uh, my dad was, by the time I came around, he was pretty involved in the Farm Bureau. A big part of what I learned from my parents was how important God is in our lives. And if you have God in your lives, things will be good from that point on. My parents, they treated everybody the same, and I feel like that's what I took away from them. He always wanted to know what people were thinking. So he would throw out a question to get their, what they were interested in, what their viewpoint was, and then try to help them with that. And I always enjoyed, when Doyle was president, when the wives of the directors would come in, I would have them come to my home, I would prepare a lunch. And that was always my, my highlight. When we moved to Manhattan, uh, it wasn't only our kids, it was Robert, a nephew that was with us also. So it was very good to have, to know that there was somebody there to look after my house, not only my house, but the surrounding areas and take care of the farm. As we celebrate the 100th anniversary of Kansas Farm Bureau, I, I go back to how proud he was of when the 75th anniversary came around. That was one of the goals. He wanted to be president, to get the new building built, and then be president during the 75th anniversary. But one of the things that I still get a thrill every time I go to uh, the headquarters building and, and see where those flowers are planted and on that sign that says uh, Farm Bureau starts with the soil. And to see that and to know that when that building was dedicated that every county contributed a handful of soil. And so from all over the state, you know, there's a part of everybody that, that is part of, uh, of the Kansas Farm Bureau. Every county is, is there represented every day there at the headquarters. Well, he always wanted what was good for Kansas and the people of Kansas. And he always stressed to leave the land better than where you found it. He always stressed that and to be kind to your neighbor. And he also knew the hard work of all those farm and ranch families and what they contributed through their membership and through any other involvement that they were. And so I think that's one of the things, if there is such a, a thing as a lasting legacy, it was the pride that he took in knowing that it was more than just one individual. It, it's, it's a group and it's that group from generation to generation and they all come together as, as members of Kansas Farm Bureau.